Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. What I have behind me is a 2022 Lexus IS500, which I just purchased recently. In fact, I just picked it up a few days ago, so I barely have driven it. And there's a lot I love about the car, especially the V8 engine, of course. However, with only 50 kilometers on the clock, I'm a bit surprised to see the dreaded check engine light error that just came on. And so I will have to take it back to the dealership and get that sorted out and, uh, and find out what's going on with the check engine light. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a disappointment, but that's okay. This is built in Tahara factory in Japan, perhaps the best factories in the world. And I have every confidence that it's going to be a very minor issue. In fact, if you go to the Lexus IS500 forum, they have been talking about this uh, engine light issue already, and it appears to be something to do with a gasket that is a bit loose in the um, exhaust pipe underneath the uh, car. So I don't think it's anything major. It's not anything to do with the engine component or engine part. So once again, I'm not too concerned. I've already contacted Lexus and they're going to take care of me. Uh, but this is one of those things that you have to keep in mind that even the uh, beloved Toyota brand or Lexus brand can have a problem uh, even for something that's proven such as IS built in a very reliable factory like a Tahara factory in Japan. So those are things that you kind of have to keep in mind and it's just part of ownership. And for me, because I've worked as an automotive engineer for a number of car companies, this kind of stuff is not a big deal. It's just a diagnostic issue that needs to be resolved and taken to a next step to maybe either replace a part or to uh, repair a part. And then from there on, I don't expect any more issues because this thing is built like a tank. So let me give you a quick walk around of the Lexus IS500 and I will eventually show you the uh, check engine light problem as well. Let's get into it. So here's my 2022 Lexus IS500. Aside from the dreaded uh, check engine light problem, of course, everything else has been absolutely flawless in this IS500. And I bought this because it's going to be the last of the V8 powered Lexus IS. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this evolves over time. And hopefully they'll solve the problem with the uh, check engine light very soon. But in the meantime, you can see how gorgeous this car is in terms of the paint job, uh, which is uh, ultrasonic uh, blue Mica 2.0. It's uh, ridiculously well done from Tahara factory. It's almost like a mirror image, which of course is helped by the fact that I had this uh, car ceramic coated professionally at Lexus. And uh, once again, uh, Jim Patterson Lexus is a dealer I'm dealing with. They're one of the best dealers in uh, North America and I'm absolutely happy with how they have been treating me. And they've done a wonderful job with the ceramic coating as well. So paint job is excellent. I also did my usual body alignment check. And you know what? It's perfection. There is nothing that I can find in terms of defect or issue. The alignment is perfect. This gap is almost perfect. Also all the way from beginning to the end. And the actual width of the gap, which I measured earlier, it's only about four millimeters. So fantastic body work all the way from front to back. Uh, nothing that I can see uh, that could be considered to be a defective thing. Uh, the paint job is uh, just gorgeous uh, at every panel. And you can see once again, almost like a mirror image in terms of the finish. Really no pigmentation issue or orange peel and the fit and the finish of all of the panels and alignment. Oh my goodness, you just cannot get better than this quality that you see. This Lexus IS500 is built in Tahara factory, which I have visited and have seen several times. And it is by far one of the best factories in the world. And you can really tell the quality of the fit and finish, the way everything comes together. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous design. So even though IS has been around for a while in terms of its basic design, um, with the update, this thing looks actually quite refreshing and looks modern enough that it won't look out of date for a while. Uh, it kind of looks like a baby Lexus GSF. And I say that because it also kind of drives like one. I have driven the GSF quite a bit when it was still available. And uh, this car really remind me of the experience of that car. So think of this as sort of a shrunken 
Lexus GSF with a slightly better and more accurate steering because they really spent a lot of time calibrating the steering effort and the uh, steering uh, fee of this car. And you can really tell the tuning of the suspension and the steering and all that was done amazingly well. So that's the exterior of this car. It does come with a Bridgestone Potenza tire, which I'm not too crazy about. And it's going to be really difficult to keep this wheel clean, uh, but it is a beautiful design. I will likely swap out the tires at some point, but we'll see how that goes for now. No need to spend the extra money on these uh, new tires if these are sufficient. So I'll wait until I go through the summer with them and see how they perform. And then also in the winter time, I have to decide if I'm going to use this thing at all because it is a real wheel drive. So it's not gonna be great in snow, but with winter tires, it might be usable. I still have a, a Toyota 4Runner, so I will be using that as a heavy winter vehicle, but I do want to be able to drive this thing from time to time. So I'm inside my Lexus IS500 now, and as you can tell, it has a gorgeous white um, synthetic leather called a New Lux, and I'm not too crazy about the color, but actually it's growing on me. Even though it's going to be a little bit more difficult to keep it clean, I had it um, ceramic coated, so I think these seats will remain reasonably clean. And I do admit that the blue exterior with the white interior is an amazing match made in heaven. It just looks amazing and totally gorgeous. So I'm going to see if I can keep this thing clean and uh, free of dirt. I'm not going to be wearing a blue jeans or anything like that in this particular Lexus. So we'll see how that goes. But I do want to flip the camera now and show you a few things inside the uh, Lexus IS500. And I'm going to also show you my dreaded check engine light air that just came on a few minutes ago. So here's the interior of the Lexus IS500. It looks a lot like um, the previous version of the IS. So I know that's one of the um, things that people are not too happy about. But to be honest with you, it works for me. Uh, yes, this white seat is sort of going to be a hassle to maintain. But in terms of the overall design, I'm actually quite happy with the way this works for me. And especially all of the controls here, while it's very busy and not 100% up to date in like some other modern cars today, but this is nice and big. It is a touch panel and uh, even the temperature is kind of like a touch panel up and down here. And there's still lots of buttons here. So I'm actually quite happy with the layout and there's nothing wrong with the way it works so far. I still get normal shifter here uh, with the paddle shifter on the steering and uh, everything from the stitching of the steering to the way that uh, all the parts come together is absolutely 100% perfection. You will not find a car that's better made than this Lexus IS500, even if you were to pay two or three times more money. Honestly, it's a flawless fit and finish inside and I haven't heard a hint of rattle or squeaks anywhere. Uh, and you know what, these controls all work well and the buttons and everything are quite tactile. And uh, so there's no issue with that. We get almost all of the features you would get in normal modernized cars. And I just refuse to use this small touchpad because this is kind of ridiculous. So I just reach out and use this one here. Uh, yes, this is an older software, not as up to date as something we will find in the new models such as Lexus NX. But that's okay because it's actually quite intuitive and easy to use. No issue there at all. I'm really happy that Lexus always have the uh, start button a little bit higher up, not so low where it's hidden behind the steering wheel. So you can see it right away. And as you know, this instrumentation has a bit of a unique design in that there is a physical button here that I can push to move the uh, dial back and forth. And that's really cool design because that thing is physically moving back and forth. But anyway, let me point out the check engine light here. So you said check engine light, visit your dealer, and also parking support, brake um, malfunction. That often happens together with a check engine light. The two are related somewhat. Uh, so that is uh, an issue that has to be resolved very soon. I also had an error that came up on the infotainment system, it's gone now. Uh, but uh, the two are obviously telling me something's not quite right. Now, before you jump into conclusion, they say this thing is a lemon. Oh, that isn't the case at all. Whenever uh, any manufacturers, even Toyota or Lexus, design a whole new engine and a powertrain like in the IS500, sometimes there is a minor issue that just weren't uh, caught during the development stage. 
and it's very minor usually and they can fix it. Um, most people don't know that there is a, a fair number of check engine light incident that happens in a lot of the new Toyota and Lexus models in the very beginning of the um, model cycle and they get resolved over time and they don't come back and it's almost never a major issue. I know that many of you guys are still talking about the Tundra's turbocharger issue but even that I believe is now resolved and we don't hear about that anymore. So I think it was a very much an isolated incident. And in my case with this Lexus IS500, the check engine light issue is somehow related to the exhaust pipe underneath from what I can gather from the forums. The gasket that connects the pipes are, could be a little bit loose and air could be leaking between them, which then uh, gives an error because the oxygen sensor and other sensors just goes a bit crazy when there's a bit of a leakage of air. So they just have to either tighten the exhaust or replace the gasket. And I believe that's the only problem that is causing this check engine light air. Uh, I don't think it's anything else. It's definitely nothing to do with the engine itself or anything serious. So once again, I'm not concerned as long as they can get the parts on time. Uh, but because this is a Lexus, they're looking after me really well. They'll provide me with a loaner car. Uh, although I have other cars to drive anyway, so I don't have to have a loaner car. But it'll be a nice gesture for Lexus to provide that for me while this is getting fixed. They're going to let me know right away uh, what the situation is. And uh, so once that's fixed, I can continue to enjoy this beautiful and amazing engine, uh, which is a V8 engine uh, on this Lexus IS500. So a lot more to come, and I'll be taking you through some of the driving um, mode as well. But uh, for now, this is what I wanted to show you, a quick uh, overview of what's happening with IS500. And of course, the engine is the most uh, beautiful part of this uh, Lexus. So let me actually stop the video right now and then I'm going to put the camera in front of the exhaust pipe and you can hear for yourself uh, the amazing sound of the engine as it starts up. By the way, it does have a bit of the um, uh, engine sound being piped into the interior, but unlike other manufacturers, they're not artificially creating the engine sound. It is simply piping in the engine sound from the engine compartment through a speaker behind the dash to here. But thankfully, you can actually turn that off by uh, adjusting this dial over here. So I've turned it all the way down, which means I have no artificial sound of the engine coming in here so that I can only hear and will only be hearing the natural beauty engine sound of the V8 engine. So I'm really glad they gave us um, a little dial there to turn that uh, sound off. So let me take you to the rear of the car and you can hear for yourself the amazing sound of this 5 liter V8 engine and then a lot more to tell you guys once I get to find out what's going on with the check engine light but also once I spend more time with the car and I can give you a little bit more detail on what's going on. So here is the exhaust sound.